Hello friends, today I am dealing with the topic human eye. So, in this session, we will discuss about the human eye, its structure and its function respectively. I think all students are familiar with the human eye topic and it is very interesting topic to know about the know about our eye, our sensory organ which is responsible for our vision which acts like a camera. So, in this session, we will discuss about the human eye, its structure and its function. Before starting the session, we should know about the human eye, which is our sensory organ. So, the human eye is an organ that creates, reacts to light and allows vision. Rods and cones, cells in the retina, allows light perception and vision, including color differentiation and the perception of that. The human eye can differentiate between about 10 million colors. So, let's start the human eye. This is the structure of the human eye. The, uh, there are two human eye, two eyes situated on the left and the right of the face. They sit in the two bony cavities called orbits present in the skull. Six extraocular muscles directly attached to the eye to assist with the movement. Basically, the eye is composed of two regions, anterior regions and the posterior regions. The anterior region of the eye consists of cornea which is the outermost, iris which is a pigmented portion and the lens which is a transparent membrane. It is the anterior portion containing the aqueous humor. Uh, if uh, we discuss about the posterior chamber of the eye, the posterior chambers containing vitreous humor, vitreous humor and the innermost layer retina, the sclera and the choroid. So, the posterior chamber is consist of vitreous humor, retina, choroid and the sclera. So, if we discuss about the anterior chamber, here is the pupil. Pupil appears to be black in the eye which controls the amount of light entering in the eye which adjusts the light capacity of the eye. Here, here is the iris. Iris is the pigmented circulated structure concentrically surrounding the center of the eye. So, it is the pigmented center of the eye. Here is the ciliary body and suspensory ligament. Ciliary body, ciliary body helps the lens to attach with the ciliary muscles to uh, to remain it in position and the ciliary body produces aqueous humor. The aqueous humor, aqueous humor is the watery fluid of the eye, watery fluid, anterior fluid of the eye and which nourishes the lens as well as the cornea. So, uh, aqueous humor, here is the suspensory ligaments that holds the lens to the muscles. Here is the posterior chamber of the eye, here is the vitreous humor, vitreous humor is the jelly-like substance. The vitreous is jelly in nature cause the jelly like substance provides shape to spherical shape to the eye. If the vitreous is not present, I think the shape of the eye is not spherical cause the gels maintains the position of the eye. Here is the retina. Retina is the inner, innermost layer of the eye. Here is the sclera. Sclera, sclera which is also the layer of the eye. Sclera is the opex fibrous stuff protecting outer layer of the eye that is directly continuous with the cornea in front and the sclera provides protection and form. Here is the choroid which is the layer between the sclera and the retina. Choroid supplies the outer retina with nutrition and maintains the temperature and the volume of the eye. It is the vascular layer of the eye containing the connective tissue and is present between the retina and the sclera. Here, here is the retina. Retina is inert light sensitive layer of the tissue of the eye. The optics of the eye creates a focused 2D image of the eye, visual world on the retina which translates that image into the electric neural impulses to the brain and to create image. This is the mechanical function of the retina. So, this is all about the structure of the eye. Eye is very essential organ of our body that provides us vision and helps us to view the colorful world. There are six extraocular muscles which are responsible for the movement of the eye or the rapid eye movement during dreaming. The muscles are lateral rectus, medial rectus, inferior rectus, superior rectus, inferior oblique and superior oblique. These are the six extra extraocular muscles which are the which are responsible for the movement of the eye or the rapid eye movement during dreaming. So this is all about the human eye. If you like this. Please subscribe my YouTube channels, like my video and don't forget to hit the bell button icon to notify you. Thanks for watching my video.